Had a couple of assists against Canisius, known for his defense more than his point production. This guy known for his point production, though. Hernandez back in forehand shot, saved by the goaltender, Eric Dott. No, it got through. It snuck through. Hernandez scores, and it's one to nothing. Robert Morris on the breakaway. It's Randy Hernandez. He's on a gravy train with biscuit wheels. One zip Colonials. And that uh, speed that Randy Hernandez has flashed so far comes through again. Turnover by Gavin Gould in the neutral zone and Hernandez able to take advantage of it. The shot initially stopped, but there you can see it trickle. Eric Dopp, the senior goaltender, they want to get a lot of pucks on net as Timmons is going to try another shot, another score. The second line was hot against Canisius and it picks up where it left off. Great pass to Adamo. Vive la France. It's two to nothing, Colonials out early on Bowling Green. Yeah, Jordan Timmons making the play wide that time. In the Following with Scardina and Fighton, Seth Fighton. Gotta love that name. Don't see much of that in college hockey. Now we got a whistle behind the play. Yeah, penalty coming up. Uh, it is going to be roughing on Bowling Green. So that Colonials power play that has been so effective here in the early going this season will get another shot. Fighton was on with more speed, but. I'm not seeing it more often than not. Colonials clear it on themselves there. Jenny was not at the left point as Bear threw it back to him. Penalty on RMU coming up now. Yeah, this was well behind the play. That was an innocent developing moment as RMU was simply going to reset for one last charge up the ice on the power play. And uh, been doing some damage. Mentioned that they picked up where they left off against Canisius as Nolan Schaefer wipes out into the end boards is gonna be an interference call here another power play coming up bowling green getting the gate for interference here yeah first time really uh that almost nothing happened on a colonial man advantage as they come in offside and it's going to be another penalty now another interference penalty and uh who's getting the gate looks Cross like trying to prevent the entry from bowling green they get it in anyway Shot comes in, save Lubesmeyer on the floating backhand. 3.48 remaining, another penalty coming right now though. Two to nothing, Colonials leading. The man up for Bowling Green, pump fake from Theo Charitas. Now on the far side, chip shot goes over the crossbar off the end wall. Cameron Wright saw what he was doing, now he gets a second chance and scores. Cameron Wright tried the chip shot, didn't get it, got a return pass, and now it's 2-1. The Falcons have cut the lead in half. Yeah, third really good look he's had, Tim. There was initially that shot where uh, we're not sure if Lubesmeyer made the save or he missed it, then uh, unable to handle a pass. Now it's back to Lloyd, up to Johnson. Ooh, Johnson takes a hit from Adamo, and he is crunched up in front of the penalty box. And still down. And now uh, Bowling Green taking exception as Cruz takes a runner to Adamo. And meanwhile, Carson Musser is going at it with Ebert. Well, that one almost gets through. Shot, rebound, score. That's the defenseman, Will Cullen, who will get credit for the goal on the rebound, and it's 2-2. Two to two. The hot start for the Colonials wiped out as Bowling Green has equaled things up in the scoreboard at two apiece with 16 seconds. Gets it back going. Schneider still out there, chugging along. I'm not sure how much gas he has left. Pass in front, shot, score. Excellent feed from right, and that one is potted by Brandon Cruz, the Vegas Golden Knights project. It's 3-2. to two. Colonials down by a goal now. Yeah, the Colonials uh, breaking down in their own end. Bowling Green uh, winning some, some puck races and maintaining possession and with Ebert and Timmons. Gould gets it right back. He goes into the circle, stick handling, shot, score. Fancy stick handling from Gould, perfect pass to Ford, and the local kid scores on Neville Island. Four to two, Bowling Green has now doubled up Robert Morris with 12.20 left to go in the second. Yeah, the number 18 team in the country has found its gear, Tim, and another quick transition and another pass into the slot. The Falcons have had a number of period number one. Big check into Nick Jenny from Gould, who got an assist on the last goal. Shot Goulash, rebound. Oh, Ebert couldn't get there quite in time. And did that force a penalty against Bowling Green? Yeah, I think he drew a uh, slash. So uh, the Colonial power play gets a chance to make amends, I think. Hasn't been able to do anything on the power play to get Bowling Green back on its heels. Falcons playing kind of fearless here on the kill. As, uh, Maybe a trip. Another penalty coming up, and uh, all of a sudden the door opened for RMU as... Craggs is going to take a seat. Two minutes for tripping. 
for Cusick in the Clearview logo. For Cusick, a stick check, a challenge there, and a good play by Bowling Green to clear it. And now for Cusick's going to get a penalty wow. on Cullen, and that'll nullify the remaining 55 seconds. That power play couldn't have ended worse. Mike, that's happened three times now in this game. Yeah, for Cusick and Jennings just kind of playing catch <laughs> along the blue line. Colonials uh, move. Oh, they're down a man. Didn't manifest in a shot, though, at least not yet. Oh, and now Colonials will draw another penalty for Lalonde. He'll go down to the ice. McKellian, he'll try to get a shot off. Wristing along the ice. Rebound swung and missed by this game right about now. Yeah, they're feeling pretty confident. Although Kramer passes it to himself. Short side score. Roman Kramer, are you not entertained? For the second time this year, Kramer comes streaking down and goes short side. This time it goes in. He tried that in the first weekend against Alabama Huntsville. Cashes in this time, beats Dopp. And what do you know, the Colonials are back within one. Yeah, just collecting a loose puck in the neutral zone, chipping it past the D and then right from the top. That goes off the back of the ankle there's of your, Barber. There's your four check in action. And we've got a whistle behind the play. And it looks like Lloyd has moved. Gives it to Hart to Kynan. Feeding Hernandez, turning shot from Perkusic, save there from Dopp. He's out of position, tried to freeze it and couldn't. Cutting it off is Jenny. Couldn't keep it in the zone, though. 1.30 remaining on the power. Understanding they scored the first two goals in this game. Yeah, they had, oh, there's a trip up of Hart to Kynan. Are they going to get a call? They, they got are going to get it. Not from the official who was looking right at it, but the, from the official <laughs> in the defensive end. It. Don't you love that? Particularly this is for the power play. As that one goes through the goal mouth. Penalty coming up on the Colonials this time. And it was Derek's message that, you know, penalty kill is about power play opportunities at 175. Now the Falcons are down defense with Alex. Oh, that one got through Lubsmeyer. It's a score <laughs> on the far side of the ice. The power play rings it up again for Bowling Green. They take a 5-3 lead here at the Island Sports Center. Theo Chartis, who's had a couple assists so far in the power play, now gets himself a goal. And for him, that's going to be his shot blocked at the point here, Tim, and give the Colonials oh, a break. Oh, backdoor feed and a good save by Lubesmeyer. He comes across the crease, and now we got a penalty forthcoming. Somebody got spilled up for RMU. Lubesmeyer came off the ice, and as soon as he started doing that, the whistle was blown. So an eighth power play here for RMU. It's going to be Taylor Schneider, the yeah. Lakeville, Minnesota junior center. Music pokes it ahead to Hernandez. He splits the defense. Good pass to Timmons. Shot saved. Dopp rebound. Dopp takes away the post. Oh, good movement there between Timmons and Hernandez. Yeah, Theo Chardis. Uh, man in the power play. Spellacy has it on the far side. And another is clear for Bowling Green. And that was going to go into the net. Wow. I thought it hit the railing, didn't I? I thought it, you could hear it. It yeah, hit the, the air conditioning pipes. Derek Schooley's pointing. And the clock will wind down here. Maybe one more rush for Johnson and company if they want to pad the stats somewhat. Rolling shot, Lubesmeyer makes the save. Strikes and gutters, ups and downs. Bowling Green comes in and skates away with a 6-3 <laughs> win.